everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my Ipsy. I have it open but I haven't gotten into it. I literally just got the mail so this is legit <laughs> very first impressions. Um, this actually took a little bit longer than my regular Ipsy's do. This took about a week and a half to get to me which is pretty odd because normally once I receive the tracking email it only takes a couple days. So I've really been anticipating this one. I heard some and I saw some um, spoilers on Reddit of some items that other people were getting. So I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so to start, you have a red bag and I don't know if you guys can see like the detailing on it, but it is a masquerade mask. Kind of interesting that this is a masquerade mask. The pure palette is masquerade themed. And I even like, I love masquerade masks as I mentioned when I got this pure palette. I doubt, you know, BoxyCharm and Ipsy are, you know, competing with each other with <laughs> their themes or their items or anything. Um, obviously they're competitors, but it's just kind of interesting how that all ties in. It's funny because my boss actually gets Ipsy as well, and she made that connection. So I just thought that was kind of cool that she had noticed that too. Um, but anyway, this is a pretty cute bag, I think. Um, so let's jump on in. Like always, you get your little card. Um, first thing I'm seeing is a brush. Okay, it says L50 on it, but it's a tapered blending brush. Um, it, it feels like it's synthetic hair, and you can see that it's kind of um, got an ombre with the bristles, how it's blue on top. Um, the ferrule is um, like a pinky goldeny uh, shade, and uh, the brush itself, like the handle, is like a silver, I'm sorry, not a silver, but a purpley, shimmery, sparkly uh kind of color so that's kind of cool um it's very very soft i always love getting brushes from ipsy because i have yet to receive a brush from ipsy that's bad quality the brush that i actually the two brushes that i use primarily to highlight with are both from ipsy i've gotten a fantastic foundation brush from ipsy um so yeah nothing but great things to say about that next i got the yensa color and face tone up primer essential glow um so it says this even and brightens skin tone, natural radiant finish, blurs imperfections, enhances and prolongs foundation wear. And it says you're just supposed to smooth a thin layer over clean, moisturized skin, let it sit for 15 seconds, and then apply the Yensa foundation. How shocking. They'd like you to apply their foundation. But this is what this guy looks like. I've actually never heard of this brand before, so if you guys have, leave a comment below because this is something completely new to me. Um, so I'm kind of curious to give this a try. I love trying primers, and I honestly I love them in this size because I think that you have enough uses out of something this size to see if you're really going to like it. So absolutely excited to try that. Next item is the Aphrodite Olive Oil Face Mask for all skin types, and it says it's for, um, it's deep cleansing. Um, and let's see, it says instant hydration with aloe vera and spirulina extracts. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I have, again, never tried this brand, so this could be, you know, something pretty cool, but this is probably, you know, a face, ma a face mask that you're going to get one or two uses out of, so... Um, maybe even three, depending on how much you use. Um, it doesn't say any, like, directions on here, so I'm not sure if you're supposed to just leave it on for ten minutes and, like, let it sit in. It's a mask. I don't know. But I'll try that, too. I also have to try the, um, lace peel mask from BoxyCharm, so have a couple masks to try out. Oh, gosh! Okay, so this is what I was actually most excited for based on the, um, teasers that I had seen. So, little backstory. Last week, I was sitting on the couch with Xander, my boyfriend, and I was like, gosh, Tarte is running a 25% off their entire website sale, and I really, really want to buy Shape Tape, but I don't really like want to spend the money on it, even though it's 25% off, so, you know, I'm just going to hold out and just not, and <laughs> that's kind of just been my mentality all along since Tarte has had Shape Tape. I just haven't bought it yet you know it's just it's kind of expensive for a concealer so this is a Tarte shape tape and it's in light sand so it looks like this is going to be a good shade for me it will be oh my goodness I am so excited I've been so 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 badly 
wanting to test this out. If this is good, like if I like this, I will absolutely hands down go buy it. But it's sometimes it's just a hard commitment to spend, I think this is $27 normally. It's hard to spend $27 on something that you're not really sure you're gonna like, especially something that's a concealer, um, because they last quite a long time. So if you don't like it, then you've essentially just wasted your money. So I'm so, 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 so excited about this. And this is a really good size. How many, how much is in here? Um, 0 0.0338 fluid ounces. Um, in comparison, my Makeup Revolution concealer that you guys know I use all the time is 0.14 ounces. So it's definitely, you know, bigger as a full size, but this will last me quite some time. It takes me forever to run out of anything, especially face products. Um, so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, last item is bubble wrap. So it's probably a powder item. It's literally, this was the external bubble wrap, and there's more. <laughs> Which, you know, I'd rather them be overcautious than... Um, have a broken product arrive, so I'm definitely not complaining about that. Um, this is a glow, or I'm sorry, a City Color Glow Pro Stellar Iridescent Highlight in Nebula. Okay, so let's see here. I've also never heard of this um, brand before. I'm not sure if that's picking up, but this is blue. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, that's like straight blue. It's super beautiful, but it's just, that's not like a wearable highlight color for me, but I think this would be fantastic, just like added to an eyeshadow look, just like, oh yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, that's pretty. Oh goodness. Okay, so again, this is my lunch break, so gotta go back to work with some, some blue eyes, but oh my gosh, this is the prettiest, prettiest shade. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so yeah, not gonna be a highlighter for me, but this will be an excellent little duochrome eyeshadow. So, still very excited about this. Honestly, depending on how this is, I'm not, I've never heard of this brand either, so I might have to look up some brands today and get some shopping on. <laughs> okay, so that's everything for my Ipsy. I am, as you guys I'm sure can tell, very, very happy with this bag. I do not think there's a single thing in here that I will not get use out of and enjoy. There will definitely be a review coming for you on the Tarte Shape Tape, so um, you stay tuned for that because I'm pretty excited about it. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave to stay up to date on all of my latest content, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>